very interesting journey. In fact, I think many people know and some of them don't know that Paradise started in 1953 as a small cafe outside a theater, which was called Paradise. Incidentally, in the first few years, Paradise never served biryani. It was a small cafe and a store which was serving chai, Hyderabadi chai, samosa, you know, puffs and a lot of uh, grocery items. It was only after a few years that, you know, the biryani was added and now rest is history as they say. So, it's interesting how sometimes the journeys start and which direction they take. But it has been an amazing journey, Um, you know. I myself joined Paradise about seven years back. We were 14 stores. Today we are 79 outlets across 20 cities. So I think we have got love from customers across so many places in India. Of course, we have just scratched the surface. We believe that we can grow in every nook and corner of the country because the love for biryani is extremely high there. So we are very excited about what the future holds for us. Yeah, I think Hyderabadi, as you said very rightly, Hyderabad is the biryani capital of the world. And Hyderabadi biryani itself is a brand. If you go to any Indian restaurants across the country or maybe across the world, you will find Hyderabadi dum biryani in the menu. Which means that Hyderabadi dum biryani itself is a brand. I think within that, Paradise is trying to, you know, um, cater to the customers. More than differentiation, I think what are the values that we hold ourselves close to is very, very important. Maybe that's the reason why customers love us. I think the whole point on authenticity is very, very important for us. Uh, People say, didn't ask, normally people don't ask about authentic pizza or authentic burger, but they want authentic biryani. What is authentic Hyderabadi dum biryani? Is kachi dum biryani. Essentially, uh, the chicken biryani, the meat, the masala, the rice, the ghee has to be cooked together over a period of time more than two, two hours. And that is something which we have, you know, over generations in this company have stayed true to. Uh, there are no shortcuts to great food is something which we believe in. And that's something I believe is also maybe the reason why customers give us a lot of love. See, biryani is the first love. That doesn't change. Customers come to paradise for biryani and like a lot of other biryani players in the city. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult to dislodge biryani from the number one position in Hyderabad and largely in South. But I think over a period of time, we have got great success from Halim. Also, Halim is a traditional dish. And, you know, every year it comes and gives us great uh, joy in terms of, you know, customers coming and trying mutton Halim. This year we launched chicken Halim also for the first time. So I think we are innovating there. Kebabs as a natural selection is a great starter. It is used usually as a starter in our cuisine. People like to have some starters and then go to the main course, which is biryani. And over a period of time, we have experimented and tried many, many flavors of kebabs. And that's been very successful. In addition to that, we also have Indian, you know, fare. We have some rotis and curries and all that. But if I am honest, I think the center of the plate always remains biryani. Kebabs have really done well for us. At the same time, Halim and some of the other products also come in and go and they, you know, do a lot of stuff. In addition of that, what we also believe is that we also need to have innovation. So if you look at the last few quarters, every quarter we have innovated with biryani and kebab because that's our core fare. You know, we started with something called a fiery biryani Mm -hmm. and kebab, which was a lot of people in Hyderabad like that extra spicy. So we said, okay, let's have an extra spicy version, which became very popular for us, especially in AP and Telangana. Mm -hmm. Then we launched something called Dakshin biryani and kebab. So this whole chutnaad flavor is something which is very popular in the entire South. We never had anything like that in our you know, menu. So we said we launched that and that became very, 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 very popular. Then another thing which was a more, more like a bold move from our side was how can we have something like a western spice and create a fusion with Hyderabadi Dam Biryani. So we launched something called Peri Peri Biryani and Kebabs. And they, that became very, very popular, especially with a lot of, a lot of young audience. I mean, you know Peri Peri is a South African spice and it has been made popular by a lot of QSRs. So we said if the spice is Western, doesn't matter. Can we bring 
and the Hyderabadi dumb process and the spice together and create something. So, innovation plays a huge role and of course, it's not, you know, it is something which you will see a lot from us going forward. Every quarter we'll innovate across various lines of our business and that's going to be a core focus for us. No, so every Paradise outlet is special. But if I have to really choose one, the one uh, next to Charminar is something which I love. It came uh, about 3-4 years back and it got a lot of attention from customers because the beauty is that there are two icons of Hyderabad together. One is Charminar, the other one is Paradise. And the best thing is you can actually take a window seat, enjoy your biryani and also take a selfie with uh, Charmina. A lot of customers actually do that. So, I love that place. Uh, it has a nice vibe. It gives you a sense of the history of uh, the, you know, Hyderabad, the great city of Hyderabad. At the same time, you can enjoy your favorite cuisine, which is Paradise Biryani. So, if you have to force me to pick up something, I will pick up that as my favorite. Yeah, so actually, if you ask me, there is a lot of empowerment as a culture in our organization. I'm not sure whether you know, we call our restaurant managers, restaurant CEOs, because we believe in that. So my life becomes easy. I'm the 80th CEO in my company. The 79 CEOs are actually working in the stores. Right. So I think em empowerment and making sure that we have that culture of giving the right tools and techniques to our restaurant CEOs really makes my life easy. And it's seamless, you know, when you have people, competent people who are taking care of the customers, of the food, of their restaurants, then I can not worry too much. I'm able to balance work and life very well. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a cricket lover, like most of the Indians. I like watching cricket, you know, I used to play. Okay. Uh, sometimes whenever I get the opportunity, I do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I have two daughters who are teenagers, so a lot of spend, time spent is to understanding them. That <laughs> itself is a new challenge, and, uh, but it is quite enjoyable. So we have a lot of conversation, and uh, so that's that's the way it is. I like to keep a very relaxed life outside work, and that's the way I manage it. Yeah, so as you know, I think now it is quite widely understood that biryani is the single largest cuisine which is selling in India, right? It has been the number one on Swiggy and Zomato over the last 5, 7, 10 years. Um, I think Hyderabadi biryani among all the biryanis is the numero uno. Um, and Paradise wants to be the numero uno in that biryani space. We have, as I said, only a reach of about 20 cities. I think our plan over the next 5, 6 years would be to be in every region of the country. Every large city, maybe tier two cities in some regions, and go up to 500 outlets. I think when QSRs can have more than 1,000 and 1,500 outlets in our great nation, the comfort food of India, which is biryani, it should have at least 500 outlets, is what I feel. So I think we are very excited about the fact and the fact that you know we will grow largely. We are right now in south. I think we will move to other regions as well. And Make sure Paradise is made available to all the customers across the country. And hopefully, in the next few years, go across the borders as well and be part of an international expansion.